Nicholas Balboa was walking his dog when this happened. Nicholas, good morning. Can you hear me okay? Good morning. Yeah. We understand this was 1.30 this morning. What did you see? Yes. N Nicholas, I'm sorry, one moment here. For the first time now, we are sharing with our viewers some security camera video that shows the collapse around that hour. And what I want our viewers to notice is that it appears on this video, Nicholas, that the center part of the building collapses first. And then about two or three seconds later, you see the right side of the building come down after that. What did you see, Nicholas? Um, so I was a little bit further down the street. The actual collapse was not visual. Like I couldn't see it from my, you know, my vantage point. Um, but I could see the the plume of uh, dust and everything that came, you know, bellowing out as the uh, the air was displaced. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I could feel the ground shake. Uh, I, I mean, it, it sounded like thunder. I thought a storm was coming until, uh, you know, literally I, I felt the, the ground shake a second time when uh, the other half of the building fell. So it was uh, it was it was definitely uh, it was like something you see out of a movie. Nicholas, I know that you then uh, took your dog home, uh, got him secure, and then returned to the scene. What did you see then? Um, so when I uh, when I got back downstairs, um, I saw that you know uh, emergency crews were were moving in already. Um, so they started pushing people back. Uh, you know, I was they were asking me to move back. I I guess just being nosy, I you know I, I decided to to move around one of the apartment buildings to the north of it. Um, and walk along the beach. It was at that point where I, um, I could clearly see uh, the building and it, where it collapsed and the debris and everything like that. And there was there was no uh, police presence or firefighters on you know the the backside of the building yet. Um, so it was just myself and and just a few other onlookers. Could I ask you um, one other thing, Nicholas? Um, while we have you, so. This part of Florida, tell me a little bit about the neighborhood, because sometimes you'll have in Florida, you know, people spend the winters there, but, you know, the, maybe they'll uh, go to another location for, for the summer <laughs> months when it's so hot there. But this neighborhood might not be like that. Are, are there more full-time residents that live in this particular neighborhood, maybe in, even in that building? Yeah. Um, so, really, all of the, the buildings in this area are apartment buildings. Um, the only like it's a boutique uh, hotel that's next to it, and um, that you know that was the the building immediately north of it. Um, other than that, the rest are all residents. Um, Surfside is it's a small uh, little kind of you know suburb of, of North Miami Beach here, um, so it, it's maybe it's maybe like two miles in length, if that. Um, so it's very, it's very quiet. It's, it's all residences. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, Nicholas, I, I where, would never... where, where is your yeah. home? How, how far are you from this building? So I'm actually, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm here from be visiting, uh, from out of state. Um, mm. so I'm staying with my, my dad right now. Um, so this occurred on 88th street and so we're on 89th. Um, okay, so I was so, about a block away. Yeah, not far. Uh, have you noticed or observed any construction that was happening on the roof of that building or around it? Um, not that I not that I remember or recall um, recently. Nicholas, they've set up a phone number for people to call in case they're trying to reach family members. Um, d did you witness anything at the scene of people trying to you know figure out a way to help? I know that the fire services said this is they are still trying to do search and rescue on the scene. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, um, there was there was no police presence or firefighters mm -hmm. on the backside of the building yet. Um, so I myself and one other gentleman, we were effectively the, the first on the scene at the back of the building. Um, so every all the mm -hmm. all the firefighters were evacuating the, the hotel um, to the, the north of it. And they were beginning to work on the building um, to the south of it and uh, try and, you know, um, get who was in the building um, in front out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. You're a good man, Nicholas, to return to the scene, and you witnessed a lot. I know you've been up for many hours, and it's a hard thing to have seen. You okay, Nicholas? Yeah, I, I just hope that anybody would do the same for me. You know, uh, I, this wasn't an act to try and be heroic. Um, mm -hmm. This was anything like that. It was just, you know, I was back there. Um, it was extremely quiet. And so I could just hear somebody yelling. And as I decided to get closer to the building, I, I could hear 
I could tell that it was a young boy. And so he was just, you know, he was screaming and saying, can you see me? Because he was trying to, he was sticking his arm out of the rubble. And so that's how we, we saw him. We, we saw his fingers wiggling. Um, so, you know, well, we, I, I let him know that we were here and he was just screaming, you know, don't leave me, don't leave me. And so I just, it was at that point, you know, um, I, <laughs> I, I just hope any decent human being would, would do that. They would stay and, and, you know, regardless of the situation. So you were talking to him? Yes. Yeah, for how I, long? I led police and fire to, to him. Um, you know, I'm, I've said it, the, if, if myself and the other guy, if we weren't back there, I have no idea how long it would have been until they found him. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, could you hear it easily or was it, um, were his cries yeah, um, muffled from the rubble or how would you describe what you heard? So given his location, um, he was towards the top of the, uh, like the rubble heap. Um, so I would say he was probably on one of the upper floors, mm -hmm. um, just, you know, how far away from the building that, you know, he was, or, and then, you know, like I said, he was towards the top. Um, you know, I've, I've shared images on Twitter, um, and to probably some of your colleagues already. Uh, so, you know, I, I do have, I have clear, clear pictures of him mm -hmm. and, you know, where he was at. About how old do you think he was? He is, excuse me. He told me he was 10. Only 10 years old. He told his you mother that. was, well, yeah. Did you hear anyone so, else, Nicholas? Um, well, he said that his mother was with him. Um, I couldn't hear her and I couldn't see her. So I, I don't, I don't know what her status was. Um, but I do, I, I pray that she's all right because to, you know, it was, he said it was just him and her. Wow. Nicholas, job well done. Uh, thank you for sharing your story. I know you're going through a tough time. I can see the expression on your face. Thank you, Nicholas. You're a good I'll man. Go. Thank you, Nicholas. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.